What's good gang, it's me Thos, and are you guys ready for more Modern Warfare 3 Season 5 Reloaded content? I know I am. I've been enjoying Modern Warfare 3 even more now. I don't know, something about playing BO6 was great and all, but coming back to Modern Warfare 3 where it just feels refined, it feels polished, movement feels okay, weapons are all there, balance, I guess you can say balance. It's just something about fun about it. So if you guys are enjoying Modern Warfare 3 and appreciate it a little bit more, Comment it down below. I'm curious to see if anybody else has the same feeling that I do. You know, maybe it's a little bit of fear just because we know that we're not going to be playing this game anytime soon. But anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Peace. For the best SVA 545 class setup that I've used throughout all these seasons, well, the Quartermaster Suppressor, they just added it this season, but it's the best suppressor in the game because you're going to stay off the radar. And it's going to help incredibly with that vertical and horizontal recoil. For the barrel, you must use this one. It's going to give you that bullet velocity and range to give you that hit scan and increased damage range. It's going to help with that recoil control and also help with that aiming idle sway. And to add some mobility and handling that you're going to lose, you want to use a DR6 hand stop. This is going to prove ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed overall, and ADS movement speed. For the optic, you don't have to run an optic, but I love using an optic, especially for this weapon, since the iron sights aren't the greatest. It's a quarters classic reflex, but MK3 reflector works great. Niter model 2023 works great. You pick whichever you prefer. And I use a 45 round mag just because you run out of bullets fast, especially with that hyper burst initially. So I want to make sure I have a little bit more bullets and ammo in my magazine. And then in my snipes, secondary, stun grenades, claymores, munitions box, scavenger gloves to pick up ammo when I'm running low, covert sneakers so enemies can hear me, compression plate for quick fix, and EOD pants so I don't die from all these lethal explosives. The SBA is just such a good gun. I mean, look at this. Like, you can tap it if you want. Ooh, look, look at that two piece right there. Honestly, coming back to this game, it's kind of so, it's, it's so much fun, bro. I don't know why, like even though BO6, don't get me wrong, it was extremely fun. Something about this game is just really good. I don't know what it is. Maybe the simplicity of it, how there's no really omni movement, but there's still movement. I don't know, something about this game just hits different. Maybe because the advanced UAVs on here, they already have the mastery camos. I don't know, you, does it feel refreshing to you guys going back to Model for 3? So, I don't know, maybe the graphics, in my opinion, I like the Infinity Ward, you know, this engine kind of graphics better compared to the cartoony, you know, Cold War, Black Ops kind of vibe to it. I, I fuck with both, but I do like this, the graphics on this a lot. It just seems more real, even though I know, I know the game is not meant for realism. And damn, I'm cooking on like 16 already, holy shit. This might be the fastest nuke ever that I've gotten. I honestly don't even know my fastest nuke. I think my fastest nuke is like like 2 minutes and like 30 seconds, which is not that great. I mean, it's great, but I mean, I think there's some world record people who have like under 40 seconds type of shit, which is crazy. 18, there's a dude in there. I'm not pushing that. All right, dude right here. Oh shit, I thought he had a sniper. All right, 20. There's a guy right here to my left. Of course, he walked into my shit. 22. Come on, we cooking up now. Wait, where are they at? Okay, I think they're on the other side, but I need more ammo. Let's get more an ammo. Honestly, do you guys think it's better in BO6 how you, when you throw in a soul pack, you automatically pick up the ammo, or are you like manually picking it up? Oh shit, oh shit. Three piece right there, 25. Alright, I'm five away, come on. Dude right here, running with the crossbow, 26. Hey, oh my god, I'm so nervous, 27. I'm playing slow, I don't care, bro. I'm waiting for them. Come on, 27. Go, going to this game is so much easier getting nukes, but it's because we have the advanced UAV, bro. In the other game, like, unless you're playing a party, you don't really get much UAV. 28, 29, one away. Come on, come on right here. Oh, shit. I'm so nervous, I'm running out of ammo, too. Peek right here. Oh, fuck. Right there, let's go MGB, bro. Pull out the sniper, the sniper, revolver. Quick scope, quick scope. Oh, look at this shit. If you guys want me to do a class setup with this, let me know. Cause honestly, this weapon's kind of, look at that. Like this shit is just broken, bro. Hold up, okay, let's see. Oh, we turned on this kid, bro. Jesus, this class setup is insane, bro. I feel like I'm re-sniping. Oh, fuck. Nope, get the fuck out of here, bitch. 
Oh, damn, his body went flying off this. Oh, fuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Is he chasing me? He is. All right, dummy, don't chase me, bro. Got another advanced UAV. I do like how you can keep stacking streaks, so it's actually broken. It really is. That's what makes it also super easy. Because by the time I'm like 24 kills, you have another advanced UAV to finalize the last few kills for to get the MGB. Versus before you get that first one, you probably most you probably get is up to your 22, 23. If you're lucky, 24 kill streak, maybe 23, and then you gotta get the last five, six, seven kills. You know, without damn that guy's AFK. Oh, this dude's fog, bro. I saw that coming, bro. He was holding that shit down. But yeah, you gotta get the last few kills without UAVs or advanced UAVs, unless your teammates get them or they have an advanced UAV. But you know, teammates aren't gonna have that. It's always you. Oh shit, juke this guy. Oh. Oh shit, juke this guy. Oh, I'm gonna shot my back. Yeah, I couldn't do nothing, bro. I was pinching all angles. What is this, TDM? Yep, two piece. The hyper burst is honestly like really fast TTK. So usually, if I miss my first few shots, I just tap or I, yeah, like restart it again because you're gonna have a faster TTK. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, he stopped me. Damn. I've noticed there's been an increase in people using thermites too. Especially for like objective ba game based modes. Oh, this is a KC. I didn't even notice. That's insane, bro. Oh, fuck. Right, is there a do something here? Nope. Teammate. It feels so weird. I think what I also like about the movement in this game is that I guess it's easy to control. You, I feel like sometimes in BO6, maybe it's because I'm not used to the movement. Sometimes you slide or do things that you don't intentionally do. And it looks really good when you do it, but. Doesn't in, it's not what you intended to do. Oh, the fuck is that guy doing trying to go behind me? Honestly, one thing I do miss right off the rip though is we're using them as a as a shield, a body shield. I forgot what it's called, a hostage. That was extremely funny, bro. Doing that, if you guys saw from my previous video, like that initial clip, it was just funny as fuck. Like people were just trolling, grabbing people. I already know people are gonna do montages on that. I already know like, oh fuck, they're gonna do like about some crazy sexual stuff. They're gonna do something like, your car warranty is expired or something like, oh, here, like, I don't know. Tell us something crazy, bro. All the shit talk that's gonna happen, man. It's gonna be really fun. I might do some trolling shit, honestly, when BO6 comes out. Oh, nine. Oh, Jukin, let's see, snipe. Oh man, I wanted to go for an insane feed right there. Game's about to end too. And he, snipe, snipe. Two people were right here, easy. I get my advanced UAV, so we gotta pull it up, yep. Let's see, I can't forget to call this nuke. Come on, anybody? Nope, right here. What the fuck? Wait, what? Since when was that there? But fuck it, I'm gonna just call it in right now. I'm not trying to forget. Even though we're gonna win, but just to make sure so, that you call your. Nuking. Okay, what the fuck is going on, bro? Come on, let me get a kill right here. Yeah, yo, I gotta make a video with this, with this snipes setup. But that's GG's, bro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. This class setup is absolutely insane.